So, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'll be featuring my second build uh, for Monster Hunter. This build is a hammer build and just like the sticky bowgun build, it's another stun build. So, if everyone's ready, I'm ready, let's jump into it. So, for the build, we are using the Rajang Helmet B+. Plus. We're using the Diablos Male B+, plus, the Diablos Neuro Coils B+, plus, the Diablos Neuro Braces B+, plus. I just said them the other way around, but doesn't matter. Uh, the Garuga Grease B+, plus, and for the weapon, we are using the Safi Bind Crusher, but you can use any alignment, so I'm using Paralysis. Preferably, you'd want to use Blast, I'd say, for my personal use, but Paralysis is always nice. Uh, poison's good, and so is, um, what's the other element? Sleep. That's it. So that one's good. Uh, the charm we're using is the Breaker Charm. That's for Part Breaker 3, because this is a Slugger, Part Breaker build, kind of like the, as I said, like the Sticky Bowgun build. Um, the Mantle Temporal Plus, uh, you can use any other Mantle, other, like, other than Temporal, Rock Steady Plus, whatever you want. Impact Mantle Plus is a must, even if you don't have Plus, use Impact Mantle, because it's really, really good. Um, and now we get on to the decorations. So the decorations, I'm using a bit of a wonky decorations, because I don't have all of them. So for the Awakened Abilities on the weapon, let's talk about those first. I got Sharpness 5. Sharpness 5 makes sure that during a hunt, you have, like, white sharpness the whole time. You don't, like, you try not to go, maybe you'll have to sharpen once per hunt, but that's not too bad. We've got status effect up 5, is swap outable for attack increase 5 as well, because uh, I just improve, I just like paralysis, and I like having more more of the paralysis build up, making status up a bit better. We have 2 attack increases, I need to get that other attack increase 5, that's fine. We have affinity 5, now affinity 5 is swap outable if you don't want to run, uh, if you want to run an affinity augment, but for this build, or for what I'm using, I'm going to be using two health regen builds, uh, augments, eventually. So, that, because health regen is just broken on this weapon, so it's amazing. Uh, on to the skills. So, the skills, we're using Crit Eye 7, Slugger 5, Crit Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Park Break 3, Peak Performance 3, Health Boost 2, Tremor Resistance 3 with a Mantle on, Divine Blessing 2 with a Mantle on, Heroics 1, and Marathon Runner. Heroics and Marathon Runner are just byproducts, they're not needed at all. So the first jewel we got in the in the weapon, I was going to say gun, in the weapon, is a flawless vitality. So this is to get first point of peak performance and health boost. We got expert 4, expert jewel, giving us crit eye. We got another flawless in the mail. Now if you have more than one flawless vitality, I recommend using that in the level 4 slot for the mail and level 4 slot for the coil. That would make everything a lot easier. So we got flawless if you have it, and Flawless slash Vitality it would be better there. Uh, Expert for Crit Eye, Flawless slash Vitality again, but we don't have it, so Flawless and Tenderizer for Weakness Exploit. We got Footing slash Vitality, the only reason I have this is because I needed another Health Boost Jewel, and the only one I had that was maybe of use was Footing, because I can fit two extra Footing Jewels into my Impact Mantle, causing Tremors to do a lot less and not affect me as much, so it's a bit better. We've got another Expert Jewel, uh, we have three Critical Jewels, now if you have Critical Jewel slash something else, use it, uh, as I said, this is like the Pleb build, so this is for people who, so my builds aren't for people who have every decoration in the game, if you do, then you can easily sub in what you want and you can see, but this is for like, you know, the, the poor man's build, so three Crit um, Jewels, then Temporal Mantle, we've got Double Protection, as I said, for Divine Blessing when you have your Temporal on, which is kind of irrelevant, um, but because Temporal auto evades for you, but in saying that, with certain monsters, they still slap you with a small, like, attack that does a bit of damage, which is not, like, you don't want to be taking too much damage, kind of thing. And then we have Footing 2 on the man on the Impact Mantle. Um... And that's it. I don't have another video. I don't know have another version of this build to show you um, today because it would require a bit more. Because I did do some testing with um, you can put on the weapon Diablos's ambition, which will give it Diablos's uh, set bonus, which is what gives us Slugger 
right there, Slugger 5, which is when you have three pieces, you get Slugger 5. Um, you can put it on the weapon, Diablos's Ambition. Um, it's really up to you. Then you can slot in something else instead of the the uh, Greaves, like for example, uh, not the Greaves, the, um, the Gauntlets, because the Gauntlets give you, if we go into Equipment, the Gauntlets give you Slugger 1, which is kind of eh, then so is Marathon Runner, like, we obviously want Slugger, definitely, but if you have Diablos' Ambition on the weapon, you can put Slugger Jewels on your build, like KO Vitality Jewels and stuff like that, which will allow you to still hit Slugger 5, and you could sub this out for, where is it, we can use the, where are they, no, where are they, there they are, the Stygian Zenoga ones, which you can use these because of Part Breaker 2, then, if you did that, you'd swap out your Breaker Charm for something else. Attack or mm, anything. Anything you really want. But, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video. As I hope you liked the video. If you do, don't forget to slap a like. Subscribe. Um, I'm posting more content, more builds. i got another build in the works. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoyed. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.